Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome to Good Morning with me, Misty V. So you guys know by now that your girl is a dreamer. I am that person. I create vision boards in the middle of the year, the beginning of the year, the end of the year, whenever my spirit leads me to do something because I have a new goal that I want to accomplish. I'm saying all that to say that today's guest is going to teach us about going beyond vision boards. Cause it's great to have this beautiful picture, but hey, let's be clear, honey. It takes action steps to actually get there. All right, guys, so stay tuned because in the studio, I have someone, a familiar face you might have seen on the show before. Her name is Sean Vaughn, and she's gonna tell us more right after this break. See you in just a second. Real estate can be a very complicated process. Finding one, how much can you afford? Financing, closing costs, mortgage, putting it on the market, considering offers, inspection, negotiation, submitting offers, schools, down payment, title insurance, home warranties, taxes, review net sheets. These are the pieces of the puzzle of home ownership. I'm the person who helps put it together and the glue that keeps it together. Give me a call. Most multivitamins have ignored the health and nutritional differences of African Americans. What we require is a multivitamin designed to best suit our needs. After years of treating patients and fighting health disparities, Dr. Greg Hall, physician, researcher, and educator, created a formula of multivitamins specifically designed for African-American men, women, and adults over 50. Sequence Vitamins, because our needs are different. Available at SequenceVitamin.com. I'm Jonathan Cox with the Cox Radio Law Firm. For years, we have represented people who have been hurt or injured all over the country. But Houston is home. We fight for those who have been hurt or injured, however it may happen. So if you've been injured in a car accident, big truck accident, or even while at work, call our injury hotline at 1-800-HURT-NOW or log in to BigCityAccidents.com and let us fight for you. Season's Best is on at Big Star Cadillac, formerly Ron Carter Cadillac, home with the $1 down with the largest combined new and certified Cadillac inventory in Houston. Get 0.9% APR for 72 months plus $500 customer cash on most 2021 and 2022 Cadillacs. Plus, if we don't have the Cadillac you want, get an additional $1,000 savings with your order. Gulf Freeway, just two minutes south of the Beltway. Shop smarter when you shop at Big Star. Shop BigStarCadillac.com. My prenatal promise is to make sure my baby is safe and healthy. Because I know it is possible to acquire syphilis, HIV, or other STDs without knowing it, getting tested is my very first chance to protect my baby. Doctors are required to give expectant mothers three separate tests for syphilis. If you're pregnant, ask your doctor if you're being tested properly for syphilis and other STDs. Congenital syphilis can lead to a miscarriage, stillbirth, or an infant death. Don't risk your baby's health. To find out more, visit MyPrenatalPromise.com. Welcome back, ladies and gents. So listen, today's guest, Ms. Sean Vaughn, has this amazing book, all right? It is called Dreams Unleashed, and it's the capital S-H-E for me. Hello, Sean, how are you? I'm good, how are you, Ms. I am great, thank you so much for joining me again. It is my pleasure. You know, we had a blast last time. We did. When your sister was here, your twin sister, in my opinion, Ms. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Demisha McClure, uh -huh. shout out to Misha, but thank you so much, Sean, for coming. Thank you for having you me. You gotta talk to me about this book. Okay. So the little bit that I do know about it is that you told me, let's be clear, Dreams Unleashed, a 52-week strategic goal setting workbook. Yes. Hmm. So are you a vision boarder or not so much? <laughs> you know, I started off with vision boards a mm -hmm. long time ago. When it hit the scene, it was huge, mm -hmm. right? And 
you know, of course, people weren't giving you the, the basics behind how to really make that vision board work for you. So you put the pictures up there and, oh, I'm going to manifest this and uh -huh. hope that it comes mm -hmm. true. But then after years go by, I'm like, OK, this just does not work. Mm -hmm. Just looking at this every day is not going to make it happen. I need to put some strategy behind what mm -hmm. I'm doing. And so before the book even came into play, I actually created um, a Dreams Unleashed event for women. And oh. so that is why there is a capital S-H-E oh, okay. for Dreams Unleashed. Okay. And it is where I bring women together so we can, you know, vision board parties are huge. So I want to give the women the tactics or the strategies to make sure that how they're putting their vision board together, how to plan that out to ensure that that actually comes true. I love that. And I have to read this from your book. The part that says, read me first, okay? Because you know us, we'll skip right over this yes. part. It says, read me first. A vision board can be a wonderful tool for reminding yourself about your goals each day. However, simply creating and having a vision board in view without taking action will not yield the results that you desire. Exactly. That's so true. It's so like for you, were you, I know you said, you, you know, it, it came and hit the scene really, really hard. Were you always the person who just had pictures on there? Or did you actually still have an action plan? You know what? I didn't have an action plan at first. Okay. I was just going with the flow with everybody else. Cut the pictures out the magazine, mm -hmm. make sure that you see it and manifest. So I prayed on that stuff every day. And this not to okay. say that prayer doesn't work. Yeah, but, of course. You know, you well, faith without works. We got to get some legs on them <laughs> prayers. Uh huh. Yes. And so that's when I was like, okay, a lot of women could possibly just be going with the flow like how I was. So now let's go ahead and put some strategy behind this to ensure that that actually happens. And I do have to give a shout out to my husband because he is very very good with doing this ever since we've ah. I've known him he's always set goals and he does the five-year goals but he puts the action steps to it and he was kind of you know my I guess guide into making sure that this was a strategic plan okay now I gotta ask a question because that kind of got me excited so do you guys by chance do a couple vision boards as well as individuals we do you better go <laughs> yes honey come on a uh, couple do. goals yes. I love that and you know it's not very uh, detailed, but mm -hmm. like for this year, at the beginning of the year, and we did ours at the beginning of the year, uh, we wanted to make sure that we went out on more dates. Now everybody has their date nights, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but we wanted to make sure that we stuck to those. So every thir every Thursday since January, every Thursday, every Thursday, Girl, go. we are doing something together. We put a savings plan in place as a couple, and so those are just some of the things that we wanted to tackle this year for ourselves. I love that. And remember the last time you were here? Do you remember the question I asked you before we wrapped up the show? No, you probably don't. I don't. But I remember I asked you. I said, Sean, do you think that we as women can have it all? Do you remember your answer? <laughs> uh, I do. Yes, we what can. Was your answer? Have Tell it me all. again. I Girl, remember. Let me see if I can remember the answer. <laughs> you gotta give it to me for a I, I, I do feel like we can have it all if we actually put the work into it. We can. And you said if we put ourselves first. Yes. Oh, and that's so, right. <laughs> you sure did. But I love that because I love that you have your vision board with your husband, mm -hmm. but you also have one for yourself. Exactly. Because at the end of the day, you're still individual. Exactly. You're still accountable for you as well. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about this book because I have look. I have a, a favorite a few favorite things <laughs> you started out in this book with the year in review mm -hmm. audit okay so go one go two go three and you have on here did you achieve it yes or no mm -hmm. and if why if so why and if why if no why not mm -hmm. hmm, that's pretty deep because <laughs> again we just we go cutting and having yes. a fun vision board party drinking mimosas but what did you accomplish last year exactly why mm -hmm. is that so important to determine that is important so you know how to go how to move going forward. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I ask the why or the why not is, okay, so you had your goal. If you achieved it, good. But why did you achieve it? Mm -hmm. Because we need to know the process or the steps that helped us mm -hmm. to achieve that. Were you uh, focused on it? Did you dedicate the time? Uh -huh. Was it in the right time? And so that way, when you make your new goals mm -hmm. or set those new goals, you know some of the steps that you already took uh -huh. to help achieve what you achieved last year. That's it. Uh, Sean, I have to tell you, so I, I did a vision board. I believe it was the beginning of this year. It may have been, I think I waited till March this year. I really wait until I feel it because I did one in mm -hmm. October. So for me, it's not a yearly thing. It's kind of mm -hmm. like, I don't have to wait to New Year's to lose some while right. we're going to wait if I'm going to lose it today. And I remember thinking about your year, year in review audit. I remember writing and I was like, but this was on here last year. 
So why is this back on here? And that was this year. I did that like this past October. And I said, okay, so what I'm not going to do, Misty, I am not going to bring this in 2022. I am, this was on here last year in 2021. This is very attainable, Misty. Uh -huh. I can do this. And I did it just in October. And then once I accomplished it, I asked myself, girl, you could have been did uh -huh. this. <laughs> like, really? You waited this long. But something in me, which had to be fear at the end of the day, mm. if, whether it be procrastination, and I'm not yes. a procrastinator, but something in me wasn't feeling it. But that moment, I set intention and actually wrote it down and wrote how to get there. I got there. And that's the key. You have to write it down. A lot of times Ooh, we, we're not putting that. that in writing and mm -hmm. therefore we have nothing to go back towards, right? We have nothing to look back on. But to, to your point where mm -hmm. you said that um, you just do it, your vision boards when they hit you, I have this broke up into quarters I because saw. I, just because you said something at the beginning of the year doesn't mean that by the end of the first quarter, you, you might look at some of those goals and you're like, okay, well, maybe I really shouldn't focus on this. Mm -hmm. This is something that I want to focus on. So now you have another quarter to put something down in writing and write those action steps to make sure that you get to that goal. That's it. And listen, no matter what you believe in, you know, one book says, write the vision, make it plain. Right. That's the best you can get it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I'm from Dallas. Erica Badu once said, write stuff down. She didn't say stuff, but she <laughs> said, write stuff down with a real pen and paper and mm -hmm. watch. And I think there's so much power in actually writing it because you can feel it. Mm -hmm. You can see it. You can dream it. Okay, Sean, oh, we got to go to break because if not, this okay, is good stuff. But it let's is. take a really quick break. All right, guys. So stay tuned because we're going to dive deeper. We're actually going to take you guys into the book so you can see how to make this workbook work for you. I'll see you right after this break. Real estate can be a very complicated process. Finding one, how much can you afford? Financing, closing costs, mortgage, putting it on the market, considering offers, inspection, negotiation, submitting offers, schools, down payment, title insurance, home warranties, taxes, review net sheets. These are the pieces of the puzzle of home ownership. I'm the person who helps put it together and the glue that keeps it together. Give me a call. Most multivitamins have ignored the health and nutritional differences of African Americans. What we require is a multivitamin designed to best suit our needs. After years of treating patients and fighting health disparities, Dr. Greg Hall, physician, researcher, and educator, created a formula of multivitamins specifically designed for African-American men, women, and adults over 50. Sequence Vitamins, because our needs are different. Available at SequenceVitamin.com. I'm Jonathan Cox with the Cox Radio Law Firm. For years, we have represented people who have been hurt or injured all over the country. But Houston is home. We fight for those who have been hurt or injured, however it may happen. So if you've been injured in a car accident, big truck accident, or even while at work, call our injury hotline at 1-800-HURT-NOW or log in to BigCityAccidents.com and let us fight for you. Season's Best is on at Big Star Cadillac, formerly Ron Carter Cadillac, home with a $1 down with the largest combined new and certified Cadillac inventory in Houston. Get 0.9% APR for 72 months plus $500 customer cash on most 2021 and 2022 Cadillacs. Plus, if we don't have the Cadillac you want, get an additional $1,000 savings with your order. Gulf Freeway, just two minutes south of the Beltway. Shop smarter when you shop at Big Star. Shop BigStarCadillac.com. My prenatal promise is to make sure my baby is safe and healthy. Because I know it is possible to acquire syphilis, HIV, or other STDs without knowing it, getting tested is my very first chance to protect my baby. Doctors are required to give expectant mothers three separate tests for syphilis. If you're pregnant, ask your doctor if you're being tested properly for syphilis and other STDs. Congenital syphilis can lead to a miscarriage, stillbirth, or an infant death. Don't risk your baby's health. To find out more, visit MyPrenatalPromise.com.
Welcome back, everyone. So listen, Sean and I have our books out, and we're going to go deeper. All right, Sean. So let's talk about it. All right, so I got to go really quickly to the self-assessment part. Okay. You have a part in here about career, finances, and personal. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you, honey, when I opened this book, when I got it, I said, oh, I'm not ready to answer that question, so I put it down. <laughs> but then I had to realize that it's okay not to be perfect exactly. in every area of my life. It's okay for me to be misty yes. because that's still being my authentic self, and I'm big on that. And I know you're big on affirmations. I am. And you have a page on here about that. Let's talk about it. Yes. So in the book... And, and let me just give you the background. So you see that it's Dreams Unleashed, capital S-H-E. Mm -hmm. Every week starts off with an encouraging quote mm -hmm. from a black woman. Okay. And so that is to help, if you don't have your own affirmations, that is to help start your week in a, on a positive note. Because I want you to go forward, mm -hmm. making sure that you know that you can accomplish whatever you're writing down mm -hmm. for that task. So affirmations are really big for me. So I put that page in there for you to go ahead and write your own personal mm -hmm. affirmations. So that way, even if you're working past the, looking past the encouraging quotes that I inc included, you have your own that you, uh, that you can say every single day. Why is affirming yourself so important oh, for you? It is so important because if, if I don't affirm myself, then I'll let any and everything come in to mm -hmm. derail me from what I'm going to mm -hmm. accomplish. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I literally, and I'm gonna just say this, I start off with, this is one of my own personal affirmations, mm -hmm. but I am unbreakable. Mm, I love and that. so this week I am going to take any mess thrown at me and use that as power. I love that. To rise up and claim what I deserve because I am worthy I have favor and it is my time. Mm. I will no longer back down, defer my happiness for anyone or diminish my capabilities Wow! because I am meant for greatness. So go be great, girl. That's what I tell you. I myself. love that. I, have, I got full chills. Like, over, <laughs> I am not jumped. Like he said again. No, I, yes. I'm going to go back and replay that one. That's beautiful, though. Yes. And I think sometimes we have been taught or that it's OK to talk badly about yourself, mm. even if you say. I, I can't think of anything right now, like, or I'm stupid. Mm -hmm. Why would you? I, to me, I am is the most powerful thing you can ever say about yourself. Yes. I went to a workshop once, Sean, and the guy said, whenever you say I am, the A and the M stands for always manifesting. Yes. So if you say I am stupid, <laughs> I am always manifesting. Absolutely not. Exactly. Honey, not in Big Mama's house. Exactly. We are not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Now, let's talk about goals. I know that in your book, you specifically have SMART goals mm -hmm. and that's something i learned in corporate but i learned to apply it to my everyday life yes. so talk about it. let's define let's define smart goals for those who may not be familiar okay and and to be honest a lot of people are not familiar okay when i was in court when i was training corporate leaders i thought that everybody knew what smart goals were mm -hmm. and they don't so smart is an acronym so the s stands for being specific so mm -hmm. when you set a goal you want to be as specific with that goal as possible mm -hmm. and just something like i as an example i generally tell people I want to lose weight well that's very broad mm -hmm. <laughs> you got to say how much weight you want to lose how you're going to actually use it but that goes into the action mm -hmm. steps and by when you want to lose that weight mm -hmm. you got to be as specific as possible then you want to make sure that they're measurable so the M stands for measurable mm -hmm. how are you going to track your mm -hmm. goal and if it's losing weight we're gonna step on that scale and Exa take some inches but exactly go ahead. <laughs> exactly so that should help you maneuver through that process and so know by the end of the year or how, whatever time frame you've given yourself that you've reached it mm -hmm. a it has to be actionable mm -hmm. you cannot do complete a goal if you don't put some action behind it you mm -hmm. got to walk the walk okay or it's re being realistic mm -hmm. about the goal a lot of times we like to put on our vision board some things that may not be as realistic right now. Mm -hmm. And so in order to kind of keep your momentum, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to um, make it seem like you can't reach a goal. Right. So you want something that you can achieve realistically and that will help mm -hmm. set you up for that next big goal that you may try to achieve. And then T is mm -hmm. the time frame. Time frame. You got to give yourself time for mm -hmm. accomplishing that goal. Absolutely. Yes. And, and like you said, it's something that's very good, something that we need always, forever and go ahead. OK, so now we're at the week ahead. So what does this look like? Let's schedule what we plan to do this week. Yes. OK, mm -hmm. so so the week ahead is this is when you want to start 
when you write your goals down, these are more of your big goals. So that sheet that you saw was mm -hmm. more of your big goals. Then you put your action steps to it. Now you can break those big goals down into smaller goals and action steps. Mm -hmm. And so that's where you go into the week. So that's why it's a 52 week strategic planning book because you might need to take some more time to really hit those targeted mm -hmm. goals. So you wanna look at the week ahead and I have like a priority matrix on there. This is going to help you determine which goals mm -hmm. or action steps you need to focus on at the beginning of the week and where you may not have to put too much focus on at the end of the week. So if you see, if it's, uh, if it's something that's gonna take a higher time to complete and it's very important, then you're gonna put that in your priority quadrant, which is up at the top right, I believe. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're gonna tackle first. And so then you can kind of make your way around the, um, the quadrant to achieve those And goals. I wanna make this really simple before we go to the next slide, Sean. It's as simple as I may need to, okay, let's say my goal is to, um, I, I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but say my goal is to work with you, right? And I've never met you before, Sean. An action step can be as simple as emailing Sean Vaughn. Yes. And so I want people to see the simplicity in it and not make it so big. And I know that we have another slide, our final one, and I really want us to dive into this one because you have to celebrate the week's wins. Let's talk yes. about that. So even though we may not have accomplished every single task mm -hmm. that we set for ourselves at the beginning of the week, we accomplished something. Hello, say that again. And so we need to be okay with that something that we accomplished and celebrate that and i want i don't care how big or how small it is mm -hmm. celebrate the fact that you did complete something that was on your plan absolutely because a lot of times we may even we may have a bunch of stuff that we're going to do but we may only maybe touch maybe 10 percent of that mm -hmm. i'm excited about that 10 percent because my life is hectic and for <laughs> me to get some stuff done that i put on this action plan makes me happy and All i'm right. gonna celebrate that. i love it i love it i love it i love it we have to wrap up but before we wrap up i have to say this like it's it's so people always ask me sean they say things like oh misty did you really want to be on tv i didn't have an action plan for this but what i did have an action plan for was my life and my business now let's be clear did everything go to plan Hmm, absolutely not. But, <laughs> but I am so, so grateful for the things that did, mm -hmm. you know, go like when you look at it. And so for me, I've always done a vision board with my, for instance, I got a Beyonce grant. Now I had on a vision board in 2018 that I was going to have Beyonce a branded food oh, truck. Okay. okay. And I put, I had the action steps I was on how I was going to get there. And the funny part is I had that I would only charge her $10,000. Now I took those action steps and did I get a, a Beyonce as a client? No but I did get a $10,000 grant. Okay. So saying that to some degree, they're putting in the action steps, they do work. It may not happen the way you want it to, mm -hmm. but it works. Would you say the same? Yes, I do. And you celebrate that. Absolutely. That's huge. <laughs> Listen, honey, if I, if, I, if I get one, if I get, okay, I can't say, at least 15% and then I'm good. Yes. <laughs> Sean, our time is up, but I have to thank you so much. Now, thank before we you. wrap up, tell everyone, where can they get this book? So it's on Amazon. You can also go to VaughnMediaLLC.com, which it's, it might be a little bit more reasonable. Then. Oh, right? All right, look, okay. <laughs> thank you so much, my dear. Thank you for coming in. So guys, listen, you do not have to wait until January to start your vision board, start planning what you want next, all right? So stay tuned as I wrap up. I have some news for you. Real estate can be a very complicated process. Finding one, how much can you afford? Financing, closing costs, mortgage, putting it on the market, considering offers, inspection, negotiation, submitting offers, schools, down payment, title insurance, home warranties, taxes, review net sheets. These are the pieces of the puzzle of home ownership. I'm the person who helps put it together and the glue that keeps it together. Give me a call. Most multivitamins have ignored the health and nutritional differences of African Americans. What we require is a multivitamin designed to best suit our needs. After years of treating patients and fighting health disparities, Dr. Greg Hall, physician, researcher, and educator, created a formula of multivitamins specifically designed for African-American men, women, and adults over 50. Sequence Vitamins, because our needs are different. Available at SequenceVitamin.com.
I'm Jonathan Cox with the Cox Radio Law Firm. For years, we have represented people who have been hurt or injured all over the country. But Houston is home. We fight for those who have been hurt or injured, however it may happen. So if you've been injured in a car accident, big truck accident, or even while at work, call our injury hotline at 1-800-HURT-NOW or log in to BigCityAccidents.com and let us fight for you. Season's Best is on at Big Star Cadillac, formerly Ron Carter Cadillac, home with a $1 down with the largest combined new and certified Cadillac inventory in Houston. Get 0.9% APR for 72 months plus $500 customer cash on most 2021 and 2022 Cadillacs. Plus, if we don't have the Cadillac you want, get an additional $1,000 savings with your order. Gulf Freeway, just two minutes south of the Beltway. Shop smarter when you shop at Big Star. Shop BigStarCadillac.com. My prenatal promise is to make sure my baby is safe and healthy. Because I know it is possible to acquire syphilis, HIV, or other STDs without knowing it, getting tested is my very first chance to protect my baby. Doctors are required to give expectant mothers three separate tests for syphilis. If you're pregnant, ask your doctor if you're being tested properly for syphilis and other STDs. Congenital syphilis can lead to a miscarriage, stillbirth, or an infant death. Don't risk your baby's health. To find out more, visit MyPrenatalPromise.com. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you took some really, really good notes. And more importantly, I hope that you remember to dream out loud. And make sure you get Sean's book. It's the real deal. So I told you guys before the break that I have some news for you. Well, I have to tell you that after over 100 episodes, after lots of laughs, a lots of amazing food and wine, today is the last day that I will be filming Good Morning with Misty B. Guys, I have to say that today is pretty bittersweet for me. Um, oh, okay, I kind of feel some waterworks. Uh, and it's not because I'm necessarily sad. It's more so because I feel that my purpose in life is to inspire. And so when I was blessed with this opportunity, I had a chance to do just that. I had a chance to bring on underrepresented chefs. I had a chance to bring on authors that we may have never heard of. I've had a chance to bring on musicians and all of this goodness. And I just feel like it's so much bigger than me. So I am so grateful to each and every one of you. When I say thank you, I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I want you guys to make sure that you follow me on Instagram at the food truck lady because, hmm, you may see my face very soon somewhere else. I'm not too sure yet. As always, I love, love, love chatting with you guys so you can feel free to DM me at the food truck lady. Until next time, I say see you later. Bye bye.